Teachers of Reddit, have you ever had a student try to seduce you? What happened? Serious, not safe for work. Hi Reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will leak your secrets. I teach high school kids. I'm young compared to most other teachers at my school. I get loads of cheeky comments, questions. The best one was miss. I can't come to that detention you set me on Wednesday. I can do Friday though. My place? Oh, you mean your parents place? Sorry, I don't babysit. This is my father's story so probably couldn't happen now like it did in the 70s but at my father's high school graduation, the entire class knew of one student that had a crush on a female teacher. She had skipped a few grades and become a teacher early so she was about 6 years older than him. At the graduation ceremony the teachers were all lined up to shake each student's hand. This particular student went across shaking their hands then planted a hand on each cheek and full mouth kissed the teacher on which he had a crush. It was considered a joke and everyone laughed as he received a light slap for the prank. Today the two are married with three children. Not the ending I expected. But the one you deserved. I'm a substitute teacher. I had a second grader put her chin on the desk with her hands on her cheeks. Letting out a huge sigh with a phrase. Mr. M. You are the man of my dreams. Does this count? That's adorable. That's just cute as hell. Um. I'm fairly young and teach middle schoolers so the most that ever happens is me catching them looking at my butt when I'm writing on the board or trying to look down my shirt when I help them with a math problem. It's really awkward for me, but I know they're in an awkward stage so I don't call them out. Usually after I catch them they look away quickly and don't do it again. Oh man. When I was in middle school my teacher was helping me out with a problem and she was bending over to get a closer look and standing right beside where I was sitting. I went on to stretch and lean back. It's a move I usually do where I use the back of the chair to crack my back. The teacher smiled and said, I saw what you were doing and it took me a second to realize what she meant and I got red all over. Of course she was joking, but I usually have great relationships with the teachers there. I miss using those school chairs to pop my back. The back of those chairs are perfect size to get right in the sweet spot. Student taught in middle school band and after a few months one of the clarinet players broke out of a pack of giggling girls to ask me if I had a girlfriend and what my favorite thing to do on a date was. She was so visibly nervous I felt bad for her, gave me some flashbacks of my incredible awkwardness at that age. Or, oh, that's kind of really adorable. Kinda, also terrifying for a teacher I would imagine. Haha <laughs> this suave bro in 10th grade was like hey miss, do you want a kiss? And offered me a Hershey's kiss from a bag of chocolate. And I was all, no candy in the classroom. So he said how about a date? Kid legitimately had a bag of kisses and a bag of dates with him. Did he have a bag of dongs too? I teach middle school, so I have had a few boys with crushes. One boy would use his lunch money and buy me a cup of coffee and bring it to me. Had to call home and it was a funny, awkward parent conversation. Another boy would always tell his teachers he had lessons, I'm a music teacher, and come down to see if I needed help. Again, had to send him back and talk to his parents. The most awkward and uncomfortable one was this boy viola player, Steven. He would compliment me and always say borderline inappropriate things. I talked to guidance, but I was one of the few teachers that could get him to do anything. So they would ask me to try and mentor him. I called home, but no parents around, just crown parents who spoke Spanish. Then he started trying to put his arm around me and be uncomfortably close to me. I had to go to the guidance counselor again and get them involved because it was bad. He couldn't switch classes because I'm the only orchestra teacher, and he was actually quite a good player. One day he comes to lessons and says, Well, I'm a man now Mrs. Iramisal 919. Come sit next to me and let me show you. Welp, I had to ask him to leave, a game guidance meetings, because I could never get in touch with any parents. Turned out he went to a party and got a blow job by two girls at the same time and was bragging about it. Finally, had a meeting with parents, principal and a translator. 
He was suspended for the rest of the year since I was not the only person he was inappropriate with. Mind you, the kid is in 8th grade, so like 13. He is now in jail at 19 for rape. It's really sad actually. My first year, I was 23, I taught seniors. I always heard talks about how every girl at the high school had a crush on me, especially my actual students. Well all year long I hear about how so and so has a crush on you and was always worried about being approached by one of my students once they started to turn 18 and coincidentally, not being sarcastic, I became single around this time as well. Well all year long nothing really occurred other than subtle flirting until prom season started to rear its head around the corner. During class, one of the more popular slash attractive girls raised her hand and asked me randomly what kind of car do you drive? And I respond why do you want to know? I usually respond to dumb, irrelevant questions during note taking. Because sometimes it may have led to a good example, I taught guffed, econ. And she responds with oh I just wanted to know what kind of car I was going to get picked up for prom in. And I kind of react, as if a huge tsunami wave was coming toward me and I'm trying to formulate my plan of attack. Just stand there and take the hit? Try to run away? Try to dive under and hope I can hold my breath long enough? Etc. So after a few seconds of students laughter I respond I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to take a student to prom. And she responds with well I'm legal so it shouldn't be a problem. And that's when the it really hit the fan. Every single guy in that class had a crush on her and they start to laugh and holler do it up. That's what's up. And so forth. I finally tell her once the class settles down no, it's not appropriate. But if you really want to go with someone that works here, ask the principal instead. He'll hook it up with free entrance and pick you up in his stretch yellow well in my opinion. Bus. The class busts out laughing and I quickly go back to the lesson. Honestly, that was probably the roughest 5-6 minutes of my life. I teach 6th grade now, so glad that isn't an issues now. This happened to me several times with the same girl. She was constantly failing and at the end of the 6 weeks, would become flirty. Her biggest thing would be to ask if there was any way she could pass the 6 weeks and then press her breasts against my arm. I would ask her to get off of me and she would comply. Nothing came of it. She was a vile disgusting young woman who I was continually repulsed by. I documented the incidents, reported them to my AP and principal, and asked that she be removed from my class, but nothing was ever done. The school I worked at was low performing and attendance was a huge issue so they weren't about to suspend her. I teach 11th and 12th grade. When I first started teaching, I was 22. So my students were only 4-6 years younger than me. I had one girl, a senior, stop me in the hallway and say, Mr. Name, I want you, and I will have you. I just sort of laughed and walked away. Another time, the same girl was being very loud at play auditions, so I poked my head through the curtain and said, Hey, why are you being so loud? Her response? Why are you so physically attractive? The other teachers helping out with the play were female and couldn't stop laughing. I was kind of irked, because that seemed like a double standard. Both times it occurred, I reported it to my principal right away. Another female student would routinely unbutton the top of her blouse and come to my desk and lean over to talk to me. She's a stripper now, actually invited me to come see her strip. Again, reported to principal right away. My funniest one, though was this 19 year old Russian exchange student. I walked into my classroom and she was sitting at my desk, in my chair, with my pointer. I asked her what she was doing, and, right in front of the class she replied, with this coy smile, I'm playing with your stick. The class thought it was hilarious, and in hindsight, it was. But goddamn, it was awkward. Still, I've noticed that the female students never receive any consequences for this it, which is odd. So, did you and the principal go to the strip club? Again, reported to principal right away. Mr. O'Shaughnessy, Brenda told me she is stripping at the EZA strip club. I felt it best to bring this to your attention right away. Good man, Mr. OP. I'll get some singles from Petty Cash. You bring the car around my place around 7. 
I've always wanted to see them warlocks. She is stacked, sir. Yes. Finally the chance to tell this. I'm a female high school teacher, and once during my second year of teaching, I was 24. One of my male students came in before school. Can I talk to you? He asked. He seemed nervous. Sure, I said. He pulled a chair up in front of my desk and sat down. I'm in love, he said. He then grabbed my hand and started to stroke my palm with his index finger. I yanked my hand back, and may have screamed back. At the same time. I'm much older than you, I said. It doesn't matter. I have a boyfriend. It doesn't matter. Leave, and go with me. No. I finally got him to leave my room, and then immediately ran down the hall to tell the school social worker, my department chair, and every teacher friend I had just so I couldn't get nailed on it later. It was not the most serious seduction attempt ever, but it took me by complete surprise and was probably the most awkward conversation of my life, and, as a teacher, I have a lot of awkward conversations. Most people don't realize if a student actually comes onto a teacher and they get caught it can ruin the teacher's life and career. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will leak your secrets.